Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Well, Bannon and others took the money from donors laundering fraud and conspiracy from Trump's supporters and the border wall scheme. The wall was almost built. So who paid for the wall if the money was defrauded from supporters? Did Trump use his own money maybe to cover up then? To replace the money that was defrauded from the supporters? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. Trump helped Bannon out of another fraud case. He can't help him now. No. Bannon will see prison time if guilty. And he should. Christina Bob is also in hot water. I think uh, that is one of Trump's lawyers. Or something or other. Now for lying about all the documents was given up. She lied about that because they wasn't all given up. Lordy have mercy. So where are the documents? And they found empty folders that were labeled security. So somebody took the documents out of the envelopes that were posted as security for the United States, I take it. So where are the documents now? Who has them? Who took them? Oh my goodness sakes. Oh my gosh. And then the lawyers. It seems like all of Trump's lawyers now are going to be investigated also. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. And they could be facing charges also. The Constitution needs changing regarding presidential eligibility. I totally agree. Absolutely, totally agree. My goodness. What has Trump got himself into now? <laughs> One thing after another. And I, I can't believe half of it, but who knows? If they're guilty, like I always say, somebody's got to pay. They will. I mean, if they, find, if they find those lost documents that were taken out of those envelopes, and if it has anything to do with America's security, boy, oh boy, they're going to be going bye-bye, aren't they? Oh, yes. A 20-year-old, and you probably already read this, but oh my goodness, I can't believe what happened to him when he got stung by 20,000 bees. The 20-year-old man nearly died last week after he was swarmed by African killer bees. He was stung a thousand times while on a ladder trimming branches from trees. Austin Bellamy is his name, was trimming a lemon tree in Ripley, Ohio, when he cut into a nest of African killer bees. Can't you imagine? Oh my goodness. Not only stung about 20 times, but swallowed 30 of those bees. That is one lucky young man to still be breathing in my book. According to the USDA, a person can survive 10 bee stings per pound of body weight. An adult should be able to take 1,000 stings. I don't want to take one. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> really. I bet you would too, wouldn't you? Wow. Bella Me was rescued by a firefighter, rushed to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, 
where he was placed in a medically seduced coma. The ingested bees were then removed. His mother, Shauna Carter, told WXIX that Austin looked as though his head was covered by a black blanket. Oh my God. Doctors believe he should make a full recovery. He is one lucky young man. African killer bees' venom is more dangerous than the sting, sting of a regular honeybee. A person will experience nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The mother credits the firefighter for saving her son's life, describing him as Austin's angel. Yes. Amen to that. All right, on a sadder note, people, 9-11. Today is the anniversary of 9-11. 17 years since the world experienced horrific TV news about attack on the world's twin trade center even today and forever our hearts are broke over this devastating of all the lives that were lost 3,000 lives were taken this horrible day men women children and babies in the nursery black and gray smoke filled the air TV and car radios and phones were on in shock and tears, trying to desperately to find out why a plane would come right at those towers. Then, as we sat in our chairs watching, the building start to crumble, felt so lost and could do nothing, nothing to help but pray. Coverage of American Airlines Flight 11 was now the main priority that day for most of the Western news agencies. Estimated 2 billion people, one-third of the human race was watching this unbelievable scene unfold before their very eyes in shock and tears. If you hear some rumbling in the back, the dogs are playing. <laughs> they pick a fine time now, don't they? <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> oh my goodness. At Rector Street and Broadway, a photographer leaned out of his window with a medium format camera and caught the site of the second plane impact. People were falling from the towers. Burning to death is the most painful death. Some chose to jump to their deaths. We will never forget this tragedy. Never will the young growing up now and their children and their children and beyond. This was so heart-wrenching to watch and wonder why this came to be. Today our hearts are with those that lost their loved ones that day, that shook our very souls. These victims will always be in our hearts, and those relatives and friends that today are lost and still wondering why, why did this happen? God bless them all always. There are no words. We've all sat and wondered the same thing. What were those or the country that sent those airplanes over? And the airplane pilots what did that country give those airplane pilots to do this tragedy? Because they were going to, they knew they were going to die. Did they offer the families financial setups? 
if these three pilots would kill themselves? Who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. God be with us all. That is it for now. My four-leggers are getting hungry. And I might do another video later on. God bless everybody. And please remember those. That day was horrific. Uh, I, I just can't imagine people jumping that high up from those towers just to die. But it was better than burning up. God help us all. Bye.